Hey, hey everybody. everybody. <laughs> Thank you, dog. It's Friday. Hey, happy TIF, everyone. <laughs> Yay. We made it through another week and um, landed on our favorite spot uh, of the week, which is doing some fun canine loving crafts. Um, we've got a really fun one today. Super I'm, easy. <laughs> it is super easy and so excited about because it, it turns out so cute. I just love it. It's just adorable. Um, but anyway, so today we're going to do a Cinco de Mayo dog poncho. Um, and really, you just need two, well, three supplies, your pinking shears, yep. uh, some fleece, some, and I've got, I just kind of ran through, went through my scraps and grabbed some fleece. Um, and then our favorite Fabri-Tac glue, this beacon glue. We absolutely love it. Um, we're not uh, affiliated with them, but we absolutely love them. Um, and their glue, um, it's, it's really our favorite because it works so well. It stays nice and liquidy when you want to use it, you know, pours nice and easily, but it's also tacky. So stuff sticks and dries quickly together, yeah. um, but it still gives you time to move things around and all that good stuff. So thank goodness we found our favorite glue because this <laughs> is like the key to this project. And, um, and it really makes it turn out, makes it fun to put together. It turns out really cute. So yeah. hi everybody. If you don't know who we are, I'm Patty and I'm here with the adorable and talented Hillary. Hey everybody. <laughs> and we are the co-founders of Hound Hugger DIY. And as I mentioned before, we do all kinds of really fun dog love and things, whether it's dog treat recipes, uh, home decor, um, doggy outfits and, <laughs> um, and uh, doggy toys, all kinds of good stuff. Um, so please sprinkle the puppy love. It would really help us out if you know yes. of any dog lovers out there um, or subscribe and comment and follow all those. Things all of those things do. help us out help. a ton. So yeah, yeah please they let do. us know if you're watching, if you're watching now, please say hi. Or if you're watching on the replay, please comment and like, share, yeah. subscribe, all those things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. So let's jump in and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is, as I said, kind of just go through your fabric stash. It doesn't have to be fleece. It can be um, cotton fabrics would work really yep. well as, as well. Um, and you're just going to cut strips is the idea. Um, there is some measuring of your dog beforehand. And basically the two measurements you want are the chest, how like how long in the front do you want the poncho to be. So I measured, I have a little chewini and I measured <laughs> ginger. It's like four and a half inches is all I need <laughs> for the front of, of her poncho. And then you kind of just measure from the back of her neck to how long on her back you want it or his back you want it to be. And I think for her, it was close to like seven and a half or eight inches. So roughly like 12 inches, 13 inches in total is yeah. all I needed. Um, and so if you have a small dog like mine, um, I cut my strips about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter um, wide and about 11 inches long. You can always, cause it'll drape off up on the end. Yeah. yeah. You can always uh, trim that if it's a little too long. I think it turned out okay. Um, I made one yesterday just to give this a try and it seemed to be the good size, but I could see maybe trimming it up a little bit on the edges too. If you just want to see a little bit more of her legs showing and not have it be like down to the floor. It wasn't down to the floor, but, um, and then Hillary, yours. Yeah. Is so be I have a basset hound. So my pup's a little bigger. This one is for Hazel because Hank refuses to wear clothes. He is, he's absolutely against clothing. So <laughs> Hazel gets to wear them because she enjoys it. And so for hers, um, I'm doing about inch and a half to two inches. They're not all exactly the same for the size yeah. of the strips, but um, right around or inch and three quarters. So inch and three quarters to two inches are, are the size of my strips. And then roughly about 14 inches and then roughly about another, it'll probably be somewhere around 11, 12 for the front part. So we'll okay. see like once it's all glued up, we'll see. I knew there'd be a little bit of, um, they'll be a little closer together. I right, think all of that right. will be totally fine. So yeah, yeah, it's not an exact science. It's a poncho. Right. It kind of moves. Yeah. It, it kind of yeah, does what exactly. it wants to. So it'll be good. <laughs> exactly. So roughly it sounds like about 26 inches in total from the, the front of the poncho to the back and mine's about 13. So just to give everybody an idea of kind of roughly the size. And I would say a basset hound size would probably also work for a taller 
medium yeah. sized dog as well too, Probably. right? So that yep. kind of give you that same idea. Um, and then how long are your So strips? mine are 14 inches wide. Okay. So. Yeah, and so they might get long. trimmed up a little bit just on one edge, but okay. it's roughly 14 inches wide. Yeah, yeah. The nice part about this project, one, you don't have to be exact in cutting the, the widths of your strips. Just eyeball it. Really, this is all for fun. Um, and the, the length, again, you can go back and trim everything yeah. off when once you have it on your dog and all that kind of good stuff. If you want to uh, add a little extra zhuzh, you know. Yeah adjustments um once it's done but it this is just a fun it's a fun project we have a comment from dorla she says yeah. i am so excited cinco de mayo is my birthday and i will make this for my chihuahua Yay! nacho i love that <laughs> <laughs> happy early birthday dorla this is great i hope you enjoy making it it's super fun i am so excited about making this like you could you could actually get into like yep. making a bunch of these and wouldn't it be cute if you actually you could have a them fun for, little like, little party a single single de mile party. party i know <laughs> making one for your dogs like seriously this is like it, it was almost no cost um you know i we had the glue and the fleece on hand um, you could cut up an old sweatshirt like it really you just whatever you have um around the house um and they turn out just adorable um and they would be really cute on like shelter pups and stuff for pictures oh, for Cinco de Mayo. Really like, wouldn't it? Pictures. Like these are the, these are projects that you could really do in mass and like yes. have so much fun doing them. And the out the outcome is just a, like just adorable. So um, unless it's some it's going on somebody like Hank who like just like he just falls freezes. apart. He just <laughs> freezes, just freezes and falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> so all right let's jump into it we're having too much fun um so basically we've got our strips cut the um oh the other thing i wanted to mention is the end strips are going to be fringed so we make those a little bit wider so i actually made mine twice as wide um yeah, i'm sure uh hillary didn't make hers necessarily twice as wide but you could add another inch or so to mine's about the, three the, inches a little yeah. bit more than three inches yeah so just adding an extra inch to um whatever the size strips you have um, cause it's going to fringe and move and all that kind of wiggle and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, Dorla, what's she saying? Her basset, Her basset probably, probably won't wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. All right. Well, here we go. We're going to dive in. So basically the first thing you're going to do is start at one end. I'm going to start at one end here and you're just going to take your glue and I've got another one open here. And you're just gonna run a line of glue across the top. I mean, it couldn't be simpler. And this is a really great fabric adhesive. This this glue works on all kinds of surfaces, um, but it is a, it's called a Fabri-Tac. So it's known for working really well on fabric. And I'm just going across the edge just trying to get as close to the edge as I can as I'm working my way around along here. All right. And then you just take the next color and lay that on top of the glue. And again, don't worry if the, the sides don't match up because sometimes fleece can be in fabrics, t-shirt fabric material, things like that can be a little tricky to, um, Make sure everything is perfectly lined up so we we can do that when it's done but so the next color is on top of the bottom color is how we're going to do that and you actually do that on both ends so you're actually working your way to the middle yep as you glue these together and what that does is then it allows this really fun, we used pinking shears to cut out our strips to kind of give you that zigzag effect, kind of detail. And if you glue them from bottom to top, kind of working your way to the middle from uh, both ends, um, you get to see that zigzag. And then it lays beautifully across the back of your dog or down the front of your dog. But if you forget, which I did on the on the my first attempt yesterday, I had them just all go one on top of the other, one on top of the other, all the way to the other end, and it's fine too. So you can it, kind of see. This is I have some of mine glued already. So this is this will be the front side of mine. 
And then this side, this will be the back side. So you oh, can wow. see the directions. Yeah. The yeah. Different directions there. Exactly. So you just keep adding more layers. And I have a couple little mix ups where I got them like in the middle where I got them the wrong direction and stuff like that. That's no big deal. Like it's in yeah. general, just you're just kind of gluing them together and hopefully you'll get them, you know, as close as you can. Yeah. And what's really fun about this project too is you can customize these in any color. Yep. Um, you can do, you know, kind of a girly one. You can kind of do more masculine one. You can get really um, kind of authentic Mexican colors. That's really, you know, adds to that level of party and fiesta. Which and, is really fun. And you don't need very much fleece. Like I was worried no. that I wouldn't have enough and I was definitely shopping my stash. So I would probably do a little girlier colors, um, but we're working with what we've got. So <laughs> this is what I had enough of. Um, but once you start cutting them into the strips, the the size that you need, you'll realize like, oh, I do have enough. Like you can kind of find yeah. enough stri scraps that you have around totally. that you can make it come together. And I love the idea yeah. of if you don't, you could use like old sweatshirts or things like that. Um, cotton fabric would work too. So you can. Yeah. And you can even mix them up. It doesn't yeah. have to be all fleece or all t-shirts or whatever you could. This could really be jazzed up with patterns and solids and all kinds of fun things. And it comes together really quickly. Now that that glue will take a second. It'll, it'll, um, tack down so it'll hold it's it's um it'll hold them together but obviously it won't be totally dry yet so i would give it a little while before you're actually going to be putting it on your dog but um it's nice because you can continue working like we're gonna start yeah. turning this around trimming edges cutting fringe yep. stuff like that and it holds yep. together it tacks down nice so you can yeah. continue on with your craft exactly so here we go. This is this is what I've got. And you don't even have to have the colors. Like I was thinking, oh, I need to have pink at the both ends for my fringe. And I ran out of pink, but I added a different color. So it you can just mix and match. It can be yep. anything, anything you want. Um, and I should I should go run and get ginger too, just to so she could try it on and show she everybody. Can be our little model. Yeah. If you want to trim up your ends, sure. Yep. I, I can go run. Up. I, I I'll trim mine up, but I have my other one from yesterday, so I can. So can you can grab... see on one on this yeah. one end, it the the little edges are kind of uh, at different lengths. So all I'm doing is just trimming up this edge so it's a little bit more straight. I have one side that I was gluing that stayed nice and straight. So, and the thing about fleece and just by using the scraps and things, you'll have a little bit of variance and the fleece kind of stretches and stuff like that as you're gluing. So don't worry about it. You can just uh, make everything look all straight and perfect once you get them all glued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I woke her up. She was sleeping. Oh. All right. So then the next step is once you've once you know kind of the length in the front you're going to fold fold your piece in half i'll do this on my new one i'm going to measure because i had hi Kara. i had about four and a half inches for her front so you're just going to fold this in half Hi. Yes, I got a little outfit for you. And then I'm just going to cut a hole. I cut about two inches. Um, I left about two inches on the sides. So that might be the, a nice size for any size dogs to get their head in it. It's just leave a couple inches on the very end. So you can see I've got that much left over from cutting it. 
So it's it might be easier to fold it the other way, fold okay. it this way. Yeah, there you go. And then measure however many inches was yours, like what, seven inches or something like that in the front or no, 11 inches in the front. Yeah, I think then, I know which strip it is. Yeah, so. yeah. And then you just cut, cut on the fold a few inches in. Okay. So, there you go. Wall. Perfect. Oh, that's great. That worked out great. Yep. All right. Then we get to make the fringe. That's the fun part. And that's my favorite part too, is not just that's the what colors, really, but, uh, yeah, gives it its personality for sure. Totally. So just making about half an inch apart, some fringe, it's not going all the way to the end of the, the fleece. Um, just making an, you know, about an inch and a half uh, cut, depending on how, how tall your fleece or your, yeah, your fleece is on the end. Yeah. Mine is obviously a little bit longer because my yeah. end pieces are a little longer. Yeah. And they don't all have to be the same length. The cuts don't, they just, as long as you're just making about the same size fringe all the way across. And this will so give it easy. some nice movement. And... Yeah. And then do the same to the other side. It's real. It adds to the party atmosphere. I think the fringe it does. Absolutely it absolutely does. <laughs> and this it's is so for fun to sure see. the icing on the cake here. Yeah, is... <laughs> exactly. And when your pup's wearing it, 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 you know, shimmers and moves. It's really fun. Shimmies and shakes. I was thinking you could even do like little, um, they have the ribbons with the little balls and things like that. Like you could Aww. even glue a little bit of that yeah. before the fringe if you wanted to. So yeah, exactly. And these are obviously, this is just fun party gear. This is not family heirlooms. This isn't something that they're wearing every <laughs> exactly. day. This is exactly. This is so, so cute. Uh, yeah, they're fun. These are fun. So I fun. just love how yours turned out. It is so it's cute. So cute. All right, now it's it's go time here. So <laughs> just gonna put put it over her head. I've got a little fuzz. Just depending on the fleece that you use, you may have some extra fuzzy fleece, so you might want to get stuff that's anti-pill fleece to use. But. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, you look adorable. <laughs> she's so cute. It's uh, she's so tolerant of me putting her in these little outfits. Um, but yeah, it's just adorable. It's so fun. It's so festive. I just love it. Um, she does have a little Mexican sombrero I could put on her if I yep. wanted to. That would be adorable too. Um, but yeah, these are just the cutest little outfits, and they're so easy to make. They're so yeah. easy. It's quick, so it's you easy, kind of and it turns yeah. out really cute. And like you said, they have um, little party hats for dogs, if you are interested. Little sombrero ones. They have paper ones. They also have little straw ones. They, yeah. they have lots of cute options um, <laughs> if your dog is into that sort of thing. Uh, Hazel's very tolerant as well. Hank, as we mentioned, uh, yeah. is not having it for even a second. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, he would look adorable in this too that's the thing it's yeah i keep on trying to tell him but it would be so cute he's <laughs> not interested <laughs> uh, she's so funny yeah what do you think what do you think it's definitely warm and cozy it's a little chilly today 
Yeah. So yeah. we would love to hear if you guys end up, we would love to see pictures. That's our favorite thing. So if you can yeah. post them and just tag us at Hound Hugger DIY, wherever you want to post them, we, it makes our day to see um, what <laughs> totally you create. Um, and these and would I, be yeah. adorable. <laughs> Uh, have a little online Cinco de Mayo party with everybody wearing their little ponchos. That would be so cute. That would be so cute. Here's my green fringe all fringed out. So. Oh, I love that. That's so fun. It's so fun. So yeah, I will have to get Hazel to wear this one and I'll post a couple pictures of my own so you that can check out our social media. Um, if you're not following us great. on Hound Hugger DIY on Instagram, you can definitely see them there or Hound Hugger DIY Facebook. Uh, check them out there as well. Yeah, for sure. Hope we inspired you to get out there and have some fun. Um, we have a lot of fun putting these crafts together for our pups in honor of our love for pups. Um, if you're interested, we do have a craft club that will be opening soon. So please feel free to uh, click the link below in the description and join in, uh, the wait list and find out when that opens up again. Uh, we have a lot of fun in that club and, yep. and make all kinds of really fun dog toys, mostly snuffle toys right now, which are just you know, the dogs are going bananas for, yeah. um, but we would love to have you a part of that and uh, tell all your friends too. Yeah. more the merrier. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.